The fact that we are now still talking about Surface Duo 1 in Windows 11 is actually amazing. So yes, as time goes on, there is more and more advancements to Windows 11 being on the Surface Duo 1. I will admit, I tried to kind of do this on the Surface Duo 1 and completely failed. So I will say if you are trying to attempt this, there are tutorials out there, but me personally, I've tried and I absolutely flopped on it. Probably going to try again because I do want to get it for the channel. Surface Duo 1 having Windows 11. But overall wise, it is obviously a little bit challenging. Uh, if you guys have not uh, checked him out yet, make sure you check out Shane Craig. Link down below in the description. Uh, he actually did get Windows 11 rocking on the Surface Duo 1. So shout out to him for doing that. But this is all the code coming in from Sean Edcott, who went ahead and said that there has been even more advancements. Of course, the guy who went ahead and did all this is Gus33000, who it now actually includes the ability to have more sensors on the Surface Duo 1. So what does this mean? Why is this important? Let's go ahead and break it down. So first off, guys not know, yes, the Surface Duo 1 has two different screens. It can go at 360 degrees. It can literally be used as a tablet, as a phone, on either side so because of that you got to think you're taking a windows based software windows os putting it on this tablet that's not optimized not you know made for this tablet and then it's then going ahead and being used right so now there is more sensors that lets you actually use the surface duo one as the actual Surface Duo 1 while running Windows 11. So it says right here that this now supports the hinge, the uh, uh, promox proximity, uh, uh, pro I cannot speak today, flipping and several other forms of input. So as you're using the device, now Windows 11 will actually pick up on these changes and actually be able to use it with windows 11 correctly while before when we first talked about the story i mean it was to a point where you could load up windows 11 but you couldn't do anything you couldn't even open up an application you couldn't drag anything you couldn't do anything now we're at a point where you can use this as a full operating system open up folders move files around and now use it with the actual duos you know capabilities and again you gotta keep in mind we saw this in february guys we are three months into this and we are already at a point where we're seeing so much more improvement and you already know this can continue to get better and better and better so of course we do have right here gus who tweeted out um let me go ahead and make this bigger it says up to 26 different sensors sensors now working on a surface zero running windows including most of the full fold ones mostly everything hands yes uh, was, was, uh pro I, I cannot speak i can do i do not know why i can't speak today postures yes proximity yes and accelerometers absolutely flipping yes so yes the flipping does actually work which is absolutely insane i mean if you know obviously microsoft's never gonna really truly you know i mean he's already gus has already tried to apply for microsoft and they denied him just to show, to show how much microsoft does not care about the surface duo one because they could have windows 11 running on this they could have a whole entire team with gus running this and we could have windows 11 on the duo one right now we could literally have it so it could boot into windows or boot into android and you could have two different boots like you would have on a virtual machine same concept that's pretty much what this is it's a virtual machine it's sad but yes as you guys can see it works on both screens now wow we are making so much progress toward eventually surface duo one having full windows 11 capabilities and then you just keep on moving on from there, right? We're moving on from the Surface Duo 1 and maybe eventually the Surface Duo 2 having this. And can you imagine Surface Duo 3, if by the time that comes out, Gus is already, you know, we have already have a formula to get it on the Surface Duo 3. This is, Microsoft might not be working on this, might not be caring about this, but you know, listen, as a community, as a Surface Duo community, we can really do a lot. As you guys can see, without having to worry about what Microsoft cares about, what Microsoft's working on. So this is very good news. Definitely amazing news. Can't wait to see how much more we actually get. And the cool thing about all this, if you really think about it, is there's no real limit to this, right? Because as time goes on, 
more and more things will be optimized by Gus here to a point where you're going to have a full on running system. Now, like I said before, I tried to do this myself and I failed. So it's not going to be easy for anyone to go ahead and try this and, you know, install. This is not for the average person who watches this video. For the average person who might just go pick up a Surface 301, you're probably not going to pick this up and then go ahead and install Windows 11 on it. But if this can get to a point where, you know, Microsoft picks it up or another third party uh, thing picks it up, or he can find another way, you know, to set everything up, it might be easier. Again, like I said, probably won't be because there's a lot of work that goes into all this and a lot of work to building this and breaking it down. But I can't wait to see what more improvements we do have. And again, like I said, make sure you check out Shane Craig on YouTube. He went ahead and actually did this already. And he's rocking it Windows 11 style. I, I'm interested. I'm going to try it again. Try to get Windows 11 running on the Surface Zero 01. But dang, man. Dang, dang, dang. Has we... How we came, oh my God, I cannot speak. We have came a very far away since February. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.